Howdy everyone, Here, Power Ralph here with another vlog. So yesterday I finished the first season of Haikyuu, so I figured I might as well use this vlog as an opportunity to talk about that. So I guess this is going to be my um, Haikyuu season 1 recap, so let's get on with it. As a heads up, there will be spoilers for the events of the season, and I'm I'm gonna do my best to like recount everything and give my thoughts on it, but um, yeah. Anyways, Haikyuu is a volleyball anime. I believe Haikyuu actually just stands for volleyball, but um, this anime so far from what I've seen was really, really good. Um, this was recommended to me by a couple of my younger relatives, and um, I decided like now would be a good time to watch it just because it's something that like just from hearing them talk about it and just seeing how other people have enjoyed it I figured um, I should give it a shot and I liked it the first season was really really good uh, first off there's a lot of characters um, there's two main characters really one of them is um, his name is Hinata he has short er, he's a short character with like spiky orange hair and for some reason that like just reminds me of Naruto even though Naruto has yellow hair but I associate the color of orange in anime with Naruto I guess even though I haven't seen that in forever and then um uh the other main character is Kageyama and the first episode would lead you to think that these two would be rivals just because I mean they are rivals but um, you'd think like they'd be going up against each other in like volleyball matches but they end up going to the same high school. Uh, Hinata, his, he excels at jumping and spiking and just being fast while Kageyama is a really good volleyball player whose main thing is being a setter. Then other characters, there's uh, three third year high school students. Um, it's, it's hard for me to remember everyone's names. Uh, there's uh, the ace of the team, Asahi, who was introduced like a few episodes in. Uh, Daichi is the captain. And then Sugawara is the other third year who is also a setter on the team, but he is not as good as Kageyama. And then we have a couple of second year, actually we have a lot of second years, but uh, the two that get the most focus are uh, Tanaka and Nishinoya. Nishinoya is the libero of the team and through this anime I actually learned what libero means because my only association with the word was through uh, Score Bunny's hidden ability which has nothing to do with volleyball. So I was like, what does, what's a libero? And then, yeah, Haikyuu taught me what it was. It's a defensive position. Then um, uh, Tanaka is, he's a spiker as well. And then there's uh, three other second year students whose names I don't know because they really haven't been getting much focus on the team so far. And then there's two other first years besides Hinata and um, Kageyama. One is Tsukishima. He's a tall guy with yellow hair and glasses. And then I don't remember what his friend's name is. I want to say it's Yamaguchi, but that's, that might be wrong. Anyways, the first few episodes are really spent introducing each of the characters and um, having the volleyball team. Uh, their school's name is Karasuno, so they're the Karasuno volleyball team. Um, it, it spent like introducing the characters and uh, learning more about themselves, so we get to learn a little bit about Nishinoya, um, Asahi, and why he was reluctant to rejoin the volleyball team, and um, also like Kageyama, how he was a self-centered person when he was in middle school, things like that, so that was really nice, and then um, eventually, oh, uh, some other characters I forgot to introduce, there's uh, the... Um, the faculty advisor of the team, uh, Takeda, and then, um, and then they get a coach whose name is Ukai, and he's like the grandson of um, a really like well-known coach in the school. So after we're introduced to the Karasuno team and they form like their volleyball team and whatnot, we get to see um, 
we get to see them practice a little bit and we get to see Kageyama like he he really starts to utilize Hinata even though like they don't really get along at first and like they do this really this really cool move where uh, Kageyama just like he just uh, tosses the ball to a spot that he thinks is optimal and then um, Hinata will just rush in like with his eyes closed jump and spike it and that's a really cool move that they do and they utilize that quite a bit throughout the first season and um, after we see them practice a little bit we um, we see them schedule a practice match with this team called Alba Josai, which is a neighboring school in the area. So Karasuno ends up beating Alba Josai in the practice match, but towards the end, we're introduced to the setter of the team. He ends up joining late because he's off doing some other things. I don't know it. I don't remember what he was doing, but um, his name is Oikawa, and right off the bat, Kageyama is like. Um, he's cautious of him because they went to the same middle school together and he's like yeah, He's like, um, hey, hey, uh, teammates watch out for Aikawa. He's really really good So we're we get that small little introduction to him, but yeah, the practice match between Alba Josai and um, Karasuno was pretty neat. It was nice to see Karasuno play although it's not an official match. It was still neat to see them like play against a different team. After that, another practice match is scheduled between this other school called Nekoma. But before um, the practice match, we get to see Karasuno do some more practicing. And um, the eventually we get to the practice match between uh, Karasuno and Nekoma. And I believe Nekoma wins because their team like their teamwork is just really really good and their setter his name is Kenma he is really good at um, utilizing the strengths of his teammates while uh, Kageyama he's really only good at utilizing Hinata so um, Nekoma ends up winning but then they're like well we'll rematch soon because Karasuno and Nekoma have this famous rivalry so I'm, I'm expecting them to show up later on at some point in the series just because the series is kind of like hinting that they will end up facing off against each other again. The next arc of the first season is the Enter High Tournament where a bunch of different schools go up against each other and I believe they're all schools within the same prefecture so um schools that are like nearby to Karasuno like Alba Josai and a few others. Nekoma isn't in that prefecture so they're not in the tournament but um, yeah the tournament itself is really nice. It was it takes up a good chunk of season one just because Karasuno ends up going against three teams. The first team they go up against I don't remember what their name is but um, um, everyone is like oh Karasuno, that team isn't as good as they used to be in the past, but they end up winning their first um, their first match against a team name that I can't remember. So everyone is like, "Oh, Karasuno is actually pretty good." And then the next the next uh, match up is against Karasuno and Dateko, and this. Um, this team is actually related to the ace of Karasuno, Asahi, his backstory, because um, uh, Dateko, they're known as the Iron Wall, apparently, and like they, they were doing such a good job at blocking Asahi's spikes in a previous match that he, he wanted to quit the volleyball team, so that was nice to see development on his part, but the match between... Um, between Karasuno and Dateko was pretty close at times, and I believe Karasuno won the first and the second set, so there was no third set, but um, there was some pretty close calls, and one really cool thing was Nishinoya um, uh, doing a really cool receive with his foot in the second set, which that was really nice. Nishinoya is one of my favorite characters so far. Same with Kageyama and a little bit of Hinata just because 
like we get to see more of him than the others so i'm like huh he's neat but nishinoya is a character i like a lot as well especially because um he he does a good job at rallying up the other team members so the third match of the enter high tournament is actually between karasuno and alba josai so we get to see their rematch and this time oikawa is there from the start and this this match is actually really really close um Karasuno ends up losing the first set. So yeah, Alba Josai wins the first set, then Karasuno wins the second set, and then it gets to the point where during the third set, uh, Karasuno and Alba Josai make it to a deuce, and they end up playing to like the 30s in their uh, point totals. And ultimately, Alba Josai wins barely, but Throughout the match, yeah, like throughout the match and the sets, we get to see like Kageyama slowly uh, trust his team members more. He ends up getting benched for uh, Sugawara as a setter at some point because Kageyama is panicking against Oikawa. So we get to see that. We get to see Sugawara um, like play in an official match, which was really nice. And it was. It was pretty sad that uh, Karasuno ends up losing in their third match after like just practicing so hard. And there's a scene in the second to last episode of season one where um, they're all treated to dinner by Coach Ukai. And um, while they're all eating, everyone is um, like they're quietly crying, except for Tsukushima. He, he's just very. Like, he's not as into uh, volleyball as everyone else, it seems, but like, everyone is just like quietly crying. And that got me a little bit emotional just because, like, dang, they, they tried so hard and they're just like eating their sorrows away. But um, the second or the last episode of the season, um, everyone's just down in, the dump, uh, down in the dumps about losing to Alba Josai, but like, they're slowly, like, re-motivating themselves and um yeah the next like this the episode ends with them like motivated to uh, try their best in this upcoming spring tournament because like although they lost the enter high tournament which was a shot at getting to nationals i might i might be getting that wrong but i think that's why schools enter the enter high tournament just so they have a spot at nationals if they win that but the spring tournament is coming up so I believe that's going to be at least partially the focus of the second season. And I don't know what else could be done in the second season, but the first season itself was still really, really enjoyable. It was nice to see like all the characters get like some character development throughout. And I've heard that the later seasons are, are really, really good at that as well, and that they're like the second seasons are just the second third or fourth season are just really really good compared to the first season and i'm already impressed with what the first season showed me but yeah that's my recap of the first season of Q. and again i don't know what's going to be in store for the second season but i'm really excited to to go through it and i believe the manga actually just ended recently so I don't know how far the fourth season is compared to the manga, but I guess I guess I'll find out whenever I finish the fourth season. Who knows? The fifth season might come out by the time I start, um, or by the time I finish the fourth season. But um, yeah, that that's my season one recap and just like small thoughts on Haikyuu, at least season one. Nice. And I don't know, I'm being redundant, but um, thank you all so much for watching, and see y'all next time for another vlog. Later!